Welcome back to all of the students of our Lord and Savior, who is the true Messiah and who is the God of all gods. And his name is Yeshua the Christ. So make sure that you have three items. Uh, number one, make sure you have the greatest weapon in history, uh, the word of the Lord. And if you don't have the physical King James Version, at least uh, I want you to have the electronic version because it is imperative that you follow along. If the moderators can put up the uh, King James link right now, just in case uh, some of the students may not have a physical word of the Lord. That's number one. Number two, uh, please make sure you have a large notebook. And number three, make sure you have plenty of pens. We are going into new territory tonight. And I've been seeking the mind of God all day and have been receiving real-time information, first from God, second from our uh, staff here uh, in New York City. Now, uh, for some reason, if we're buffering tonight, um, we will definitely um, come back in a few minutes, okay? because we do not, we want to make sure that uh, you guys not only uh, hear the bishop and see the bishop clear, but I want to make sure that every one of you can both hear and see the bishop clearly, okay? So we want to make sure. Now, am I coming in clear tonight, okay? Uh, am I coming in clear? Now, I'm going to let the devil know the devil is defeated <laughs> in Yeshua's holy name. Okay, if there is any buffering, let us know. Uh, we will definitely reboot the system and come back. And God forbid, if there's more buffering, then we will come back on Sunday. Okay, uh, we will come back on Sunday. So I have to... Uh, let every one of you know that I am absolutely excited uh, of this class tonight. Thank you, PHL, PLH. Thank you so much. So let's go into the power of prayer in Yeshua's holy name, okay? We are going to go to the next level. And I want every one of you make sure you have three items, okay? Now, if you come in here to bring your mess, you're going to be blocked, okay? Let me say this again. If you're going to come here um, bringing your mess, you will be blocked, okay? Uh, because I want every one of you to hear, to see, in order for you to understand who and what is controlling the 12 royal families uh, throughout Europe. I invite your attention uh, to three passages of scriptures. To the book of the beginnings called the Genesis that we call the genetics of God. Genesis chapter 3 uh, verse 15, Genesis 3, 15 would be the main verse tonight. Uh, then matriculate over 4,000 years later uh, to 1 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 4, and Titus chapter 3, verse 9. So God forbid, if we have buffering, we will reboot the system. And if it gets worse, God willing, we will see you guys on Sunday. 
we're already prepared for this. All right. So to the book of the genetics of God. Chapter three, verse 15. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And I will put enmity or division between thee and the woman. God is speaking to the serpent. Between thee, Luciferian system called the serpent, and the woman. And between thy seed, the Luciferic bloodline seeds, who are of the synagogue of Satan, versus the seed of Christ, his church, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Oh my, there's an anointing here tonight, okay? Uh, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Then I want you to go to 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 4, okay? Um, I want you to go to 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 4. Now, if some of you uh, are experiencing buffering, log out, out, of, out of your computer and log back in, Okay. So 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 4, Paul's letter to his apostolic son in the faith, St. Timothy. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith, so do. And Titus chapter 3, verse 5, Paul's apostolic letter to his second apostolic son in the faith, St. Titus. Titus chapter 3, verse 9, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Now go back to Genesis 3.15. We want to make sure there's no buffering and we we came to be prepared tonight, okay? So when we're in Los Angeles, we normally don't have this problem. But when we're here in New York City, this is Rome, uh, we have this problem, okay? So Genesis 3.15, there is a contention, a battle between the seed of Christ, the church, versus the seed of Satan. I want to go uh, slow here tonight and um, to talk about a topic that will be uh, a long series, okay? And, um, and this is going to be a long series entitled Operation London Bridge. Operation London Bridge. Heavenly Father, send forth thy truth, for thy word is truth. Father God, yes, you will remove every trace of static and buffering and make clear the airwaves here tonight because this message is so very important, Lord God. We come against the demonic forces of buffering and technical issues. And we curse every demonic presence in the atmosphere. And we pray, God, that you will bring forth clarity 
clearness and a concise teaching concerning the bloodlines in connection to Operation London Bridge. And we will forever give your name the praise in Yeshua's holy name. Amen. Let's lay foundation. And if, again, there is any technical difficulty, we're going to stay on the air tonight because this is too important for us just to be distracted. Let's lay foundation concerning Operation London Bridge. There is an intense battle between two distinct kingdoms. The kingdom of the Christ versus the kingdom of the serpent. There is a great battle going on between two distinct kingdoms and territories. The territory of the apostolic versus a the territory of a counterfeit apostolic called the new apostolic reformation. London Bridge that we call Operation London Bridge. My assignment is to expose the synagogue of Satan that we're not talking about the Jewish people. We're talking about one family that for the past 2,000 years, they have caused mayhem, destruction, division between races, ethnicities, religions, and faiths, one family who has demonically ordained every royal family in history that is called the Rothschild. To get an understanding of who the Rothschilds are, they go back at least 2,000 years. According to Josephus, in volume one of his powerful book called The Antiquity of the Jews, he says that a family called the Bacharachs, capital B-A-C-H-A-R-A-C-H, apostrophe S, the Bacharachs had controlled both the Theresistic system and the Sadduceistic system of the House of Helio. The Bacharachs also go back to the time of Leo the Khazar. Between Malachi and Matthew that we call the 400 silent years. Where our faith, Judaism, and the Torah was taken from us when a man by the name of Leo the Khazar, who goes by Titus, not the Titus of the text, but Titus was the alter ego of Leo the Khazar, 
who came out of central Turkey, whose descendants are now called the Khazarians, had plundered Jerusalem, taken the Ark of the Covenant, taking the Holy Torah. The term Torah means to God. Gospel means in Christ. So you need the Torah that will bring you to Christ, and you need the Gospels that would take you in Christ. So the Ashkenazi Jewish family and the Hasidic Jewish family, they're only Jews by religion, but they're not Hebrew by birth. Can I take my time? You see, every Hebrew is a Jew, but not every Jew is a Hebrew. The Jews of today, whom the bishop loves, thank you, Pastor Craig Moore, they're only Jews by religion, as Ashkenazic and Hasidic Jews, but their bloodline does not go back thousands of years into the Old Testament in Palestine called Israel. So the question begs to be answered, who are the original Jews? Black America in the Black diaspora, we are the original Hebrews. We are the original Jews. I'm going to take my time tonight because this is going to be a long series concerning Operation London Bridge. Now, you may be wondering, Bishop, what does the Rothschilds have anything to do with the House of Windsor? It's the Rothschilds that put them into power. It's the Rothschilds that put their cousins, the Romanovs, in power. And it's the second cousins of the House of saxe goldberg Gotha, called the House of Kaiser Wilhelm in Germany. So you got three cousins, the House of Windsor, saxe goldberg Gotha, Germans, the Romanovs through the Russian Federation, whose origin is out of the Prussian Empire, Germany, and the bloodline of Kaiser Wilhelm in Germany, you got three dynastic families put into power by one family who calls themselves Red Shields, Rothschilds, Rothschilds. Operation London Bridge. The Bacharachs had designed both the Talmud and the Sanhedrin Council. The Bacharachs go back to the day of Christ design a demonic doctrine in an attempt to replace the Torah, that demonic entity is called the Talmud. In the Talmud, it teaches that it's legal for a grown man to marry a three-year-old girl. 
and that it's legal for a grown woman to marry a three-year-old boy. That's pedophilia. That's child molestation. It's in the town you. I have never been challenged by a rabbi concerning that because they know that they're wrong. The Rothschilds, who were called Bacharachs during the time of Christ, also designed the Sanhedrin Council of 70 high-level rabbinical priests. Christ had exposed them in John 8, 44. You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you will do. What was Christ saying in John 8, 44? Christ saw them that in fulfillment of Genesis 3.15, you are not the original Hebrews and you're not the original Jews. That bloodline back then was called Bacharach. Then the Bacharachs changed their name centuries later in 1501 to Bauer. Then 76 years later, in 1577, the Bowers became the Rothschilds because they wanted access to the global financial market through the Vatican Bank. Oh, speak Holy Spirit. Operation London Bridge. Am I coming in clear for you, ladies and gentlemen? Am I sounding clear? Put a thumbs up. The bloodline of Queen Elizabeth is horrific. They're not English or British people. The term Saxe Coburg Gotha you have to understand that the House of Windsor is a combination of two bloodlines. The House of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, Gotha means Gothic, in the House of Hanover, that through Queen Victoria, she is in the bloodline of the Hanovers, and the late Queen Elizabeth is through the bloodline of Saxe Goldberg Gotha. So then in 1917, King George V changed the name under the instructions of the Rothschild dynasty out of England because the world press was exposing this British monarch as a fraud. Let's take our time here tonight. Stay there in Genesis 3.15. The bloodline of the house of Windsor is both Germanic and Prussian. Not just Russian, Prussian. The Prussian Empire and later through the Germanic empires are extensions of the Roman Empire. The Habsburgs, the Austrian extension of the Roman Empire. The Bilderbergs, the Habsburgs. Saxe Goldberg Gotha and Hanover are extensions of the Roman Empire. So the Roman Empire actually did not die. I'm going to say something that's radical. The United States 
for America in 1776 did defeat the Kingdom of England or the British Empire. But in the Act of 1871, you know where I'm going with this, where America became a corporation through the Act of 1871. So it's not, we go from the United States for America to the United States of America. And from 1871, the British Empire gained control of the American economy, of the American government, because of Pope Pius IX in putting undue pressure upon President Ulysses S. Grant, a deep state president, to hand over our nation to one family as a corporation. So the Roman Empire is intact. Every dynastic family in history are extensions of Rome. Let's lay foundation. Operation London Bridge. The House of Hohenzollern, H-O-H-E-N, Z-O-L-E-N, or E-R-N, according to some scholars. The House of Hohenzollern, is an inbred house connected to Saxe Goburg Gotha, connected to the Hanovers, connected to the Prussian Empire. Here's the bloodline that represents the seed of Satan. Before the unification of Germany, all 12 European royal families had Germanic blood. Even the 12 royal families of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe has their origins out of Germany. Why? Because of Rothschild control. Now, before the Confederation, of the North in connection to the German Confederation of 39 sovereign states created through the Congress of Vienna in 1815, which is the continuation of the Roman Empire. Now, in ancient Rome, connected to the Roman Republic, which is Rome today, there were 70 emperors in the history of the Roman Empire. Can I take my time? The Roman Empire lasted for 1,000 years that was considered the Second Reich. The Hitler regime, the Third Reich. Now there is a Fourth Reich, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and the Rothschild Empire. Concerning the death the deposition of Romulus Augustus, who was the last emperor of Rome. So you have 70 Roman emperors connected, listen, 
to 260 popes in history. So 260 and 70 popes. I'll come back to that because I, I don't want to go too fast here. Operation London Bridge. So the first emperor of Rome was Caesar Augustus, from which you get the term Caesarian section. If we got doctors here tonight, listen. The origin, thank you, Pastor Sedina, of the C section is going back not just to the serpent but also going back to the Roman medical industrial complex where witchcraft priests of Rome would cut open the stomach of a woman to extract a child from the womb to be a satanic sacrifice unto the gods of Rome. This is where you get the term Caesar, Censarian section. So from Caesar Augustus, the first emperor in Roman history, to Romulus Augustulus, the last emperor in Roman history, the Roman Empire, Lord, I feel an anointing, Pastor Sedina and Pastor Sam. The Roman Empire ended exactly at 476 AD that was all related, every single Rothschild, Oppenheimer, Prisker, every royal family, not only are they all related, but they come out of Rome with Germanic blood. Let's continue to lay foundation. Oh man, the anointing is here concerning Operation London bridge. Thank you, uh, Pastor Sam and Pastor Stacy. Thank you. Stay there in, in Genesis 3.15. There was a German five-star general by the name of Oduacer. O-D-O-A-C-E-R. Odu Acer became the first Germanic king of Italy coming from the Scree tribe, S-C-I-R-I, and bringing down the Roman Empire in 476 AD. Odu Acer was the son of Adeco, capital E-D-E-K-O, and the father of Odu Acer, Adeko, came from the bloodline of Attilia the Hun. So all 12 European royal families are conceived through the bloodline of Odor Acer when he brought down the Roman Empire to make it a Germanic Roman Empire through the House of Windsor and all royal families throughout the earth. Oh, Pastor Tara, pray for your bishop. Listen, Operation London Bridge. Older Acer had established a rat line called the Odessa. Ah, K 
capital O D E double S A. Now, long before the Third Reich, near the end of World War II, established rat lines, and a rat line was passageways for uh, escape Nazis to escape not just Germany, but all of Eastern and Central Europe to go to South America via through the Vatican. But King Oder Acer, who is actually the bloodline father of Queen Elizabeth, created the first Odessa file from the mindset of a killer named Atelia the Hun. Now the term Hun means caucus warriors. Now I'm gonna say something radical. I'm not teaching a black and white paradigm. But the origin of the term Caucasian, it means Caucasoid. That's not an evil word. Caucasoid were those nomads who came up out of Alkebulan thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago and left Alkebulan and migrated through what we call Central and Western Europe today. And because of the thousands and thousands of centuries, Pastor Sam, the pigmentation, I'm trying not to smile, listen, the pigmentation of our brothers and sisters began to get lighter past the tierra because they were exposed to the elements called winter. What are you saying, Bishop? I'm saying that what you call white people are actually from Alkebulon. Now, don't throw stones at me. Listen, I had talked to a theologian friend of mine, Pastor Tara, this past weekend, a white, great white theologian, good friend of mine, uh, whose wife teaches at the Harvard Divinity School, and, uh, and he also teaches there. I'm not going to tell you their names, but he said, Bishop, my wife and I were wondering, are we really black? I said, well, take it like this. The term Caucasian goes back to Cain. Now, Cain is to my understanding in Genesis 4. Can I take my time? Let the presence of the Lord and drunk in the land of Nod, nodding on the east of Eden. And the Lord, Pastor Harvey, put a mark on Cain. Remember that teaching. Lest any man finding him shall kill him. Though we're in the Hebrew Old Testament, but the term mark, Pastor Simon, comes from two distinct Persian interpretations. Kaka, which means man, and soid, which means transformation. So Cain was not cursed with the mark. God calls a mark, my head hurts, upon Cain to be cockazoid, not to curse him, but to protect him. 
is your minds being blown here tonight? Is your minds being blown? And part of that, Mark, as a cockazoid, is to protect him, lest any man finding him should kill him. And a part of that was he was to be a hairy man. So I told my theologian friend that it blew his mind and he was not offended at all. White skin or any color of skin is a blessing because it's protecting you from the elements. Mm. Pastor Simon, Pastor Chris Black, there is an anointing, Pastor Craig. Can I take my time? <laughs> Operation London Bridge. The bloodline of those of the Scythians and then migrated into the Middle East called the Empire of, of the Sansians or the Sansanians. Allow me to pronounce that. Capital S-A-S-A-N-I-A-N. The Sansanians now are called Iranians. So you migrate out of Alkebulin through the Caucasus Mountains. Now you become Persians in the Middle East. Here comes Revelation, the bloodline of the man who brought down the Roman Empire, Oduacer, O-D-O-A-C-E-R. His bloodline gave birth to Attilia the Hun, who would then give birth to a place in Romania called Transylvania. I'm trying not to get too excited. Wait a minute. Transylvania, when you examine the first four letters, is the term tran, not just transient or to travel. There you go, T-Boss. But Transylvania was designed by the descendants of Older Acer to produce witches and warlocks and what they call, Pastor Jill, count and countesses. What is a count? What is a countess? The term count slash countess came up from the Roman Empire. They were bloodline agents who perform bloodletting. L-E-W-T-I-N-G, man, there's an anointing easy D. The term count is not a name of a of, uh, European royalty. It didn't start like that. It started during the time of the Roman Empire, Pastor Simon, where counts would give what they call a blood count. A countess would give prophet what they call a blood countess. So the medical industry says, what is your blood count? Hmm. Oh, prophet, there's an anointing. So your blood count originates from blood counters where they were count by pints how much blood they extracted from children, from adolescents, from young adults, from seniors, 
going back as early as the Babylonian Empire by way of the Roman Empire. This is where you get the medical term, what's your blood count? So counts and countesses, the term count means not just companion, but going back to Rome, they would count the amount of blood that they had extracted from their victims to give unto the gods of Rome. Let that sink in. This is transfu... Oh, Pastor Karen, why are you reading my notes? Transfusion. They were fused life through a transient count. Rome is a satanic state. That's right, vegan. Operation London Bridge. Stay there in Genesis... 315, First Timothy 4, 1 and 4 in Titus, the key verse in Titus 3 and 9. Another interpretation for Transylvania, the first four letters, tran, and there was a high level transgendered count through the bloodline of Vlad the Impaler. Wait a minute now. So, tran, trans, or tran, and then you get the last eight letters after tran is the name of a high level witch during the time of the Vlad the Impaler Empire of Vlad the First, Second, and Third, her name was was Sylvania. You're not ready for this. Sylvania, S Y L V A N I A, was a transgender count during the time of Vlad the Impaler the Third from whence you get the term Transylvania, Romania. Oh, Lord, have mercy. King Charles in the House of Windsor are connected to the bloodline of Vlad the Impaler III vampire. Let's continue the lay foundation. Am I coming in clear? Put a thumbs up if the bishop is coming in clear. Before Odu Acer, the German who brought down the Roman Empire, going back nearly 2,000 years, thank you, Pastor Henry Graves, was a magician, a warlock who is a male witch, and a witch is a female warlock. Always remember, warlocks or male witches, witches or female warlocks. In Acts chapter 8, verses 9 to 24, a man by the name of Simon Magus, M-A-G-U-S. Simon Magus Pater, P-A-T-E-R, which is a Latin term for Peter. Now the Roman Catholic dynasty has been teaching a lie for centuries, Pastor Pam. They're telling you and I that the Apostle Peter of the Gospels is the first Pope. That's a lie. They crucified Peter, the real Peter, upside down. Nero did in A.D. 67, 67 A.D. 
and I'll get to John D. later on, Pastor Jill. Excellent, excellent point there, Pastor Jill. So it's not the Apostle Peter, the first pope, who was born centuries before the creation of the Catholic Church, was Simon Magus, the magician, Pater, P-A-T-E-R. So the bones in the Vatican are not those of the Apostle Peter. The bones there in the Vatican are the bones of a counterfeit Peter, a warlock and the witch, Simon Magus, in Acts 8, whose bones were to be buried in the Vatican by Nero. Operation London Bridge. My brain matter is splattered on the floor. Stay there in Genesis 3.15. Simon Magus was the first pope who then his bloodline will be connected to Odu Acer, who brought down the Roman Empire in 476 AD. You see, Pastor Sam, you are 1 billion percent right. History is a lie. Only Christ is the truth. There is a teaching from the doctrine of Simon Magus called the doctrine of simony, S-I-M-O-N-Y, which is a financial system that the Vatican and the Catholic system has propagated as an act of selling offices within the Vatican order. Like Simon Magus wanted to pay the apostles to have the Holy Spirit. The system of financial simony, simony is S-I-M-O-N-Y, which means to summon the act of selling offices in the Vatican order. Now, as a side note, when you look on Wikipedia under Simon Magus, Pasatierra, there's a photo, a statue of Simon Magus. He's taking his right index finger and pointing to his right leg below his knee with three imprintations That three imprint imprintation represents the three corporations that run this earth. Washington, D.C., the military industrial complex. The city of London, the financial industrial complex. In the city of Rome, the corporation of Simon Magus, the religious order. That's on the statue of Simon Magus on Wikipedia. Now your minds are blown. In Prince William, King Charles III, and we're going to put up a, a photo tonight on social media of them wearing a bronze cast on their left leg representing the imprintation on the right leg of Simon Magus in that picture on his on Wikipedia. What are you saying, Bishop? The father of the House of Windsor and all 12 European houses is Simon Magus, a witch. Operation. London Bridge. From the city of London to Washington, D.C. is 3,674 miles. 
from the city of London to the Vatican is 1,138.6 miles. 3674 plus 1138.6 is 4,812.6. 4,812 years and six months going back is where the bloodline of Romulus and Remus lays foundation for the Roman Empire. You're not ready for this. You're not. Listen. Operation London Bridge. The mother of Romulus and Remus, if you look at Romulus and Remus on Google Images, you will see them performing bestiality. That's the foundation of the Roman Empire to this day. The mother of Romulus and Remus was a woman by the name of Rhea Silvia, R-H-E-A, Silvia, S-I-L-V-I-A. She was raped by her uncle, who was the king of Alba, during the time of the Persian and Albion Empire, his name is Omulens. Wait a minute now. A-M-U-L-I-N-S. Omulens was the uncle of Rhea Silvia who had raped her and then she had twins, Romulus and Remus, that she gave unto wolves to leave there in the forest to be destroyed. Those twins became the foundation, oh my, this is blowing your minds, of the Roman Empire. Now, getting back to Odu Acer, Capital O D O A C E R. He is a the first German king of Italy who brought down the Roman Empire in 476 A.D. He's a, he is a blood descendant of Simon Magus, centuries going back to Acts eight. As a side point, the term amulens, from whence we get the term amulet, another topic for another day. The bloodline of Odor Acer would be the Anatolians, who then call themselves Turkish Kazarian. The bloodline of the Anatolians is connected to the worship of fallen angels. Going back to Genesis 6, Enoch 6, Jude 6, 6, 6, 6. In the bloodline of the Anatolians from Simon Machus, Odu Acer, Romulus and Remus, the Anatolians, is the bloodline of Gaia Tira. Gaia, capital G A I A Tira, T E R R A, that according to Jewish antiquity was the name of a fallen female angel. Along with another fallen angel was an angel by the name of Chaos. Capital C H A O S, chaos, which means nothingness. I'm tracing not just bloodline, but bloodlining to what is happening today with the House of Windsor. Stay there in 
Genesis 3.15. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Oh, Lord. Operation London Bridge. Simon Magus. Odu Acer. Attilia the Hun. And through the bloodline of the inhabitants of Transylvania. Odu Acer, who brought down the Roman Empire in 476 AD, through the bloodline gave birth to Attilia the Hun. The term Hun represents nomadic warriors. And through that bloodline of Attilia the Hun would produce Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, the Rurik kids, R-U-R-I-K-I-D-S, the Romanovs, all from Simon Magus, Odu Acer, who overtook the Roman Empire in 476 AD, through Attilia the Hun, Genghis Khan, to the house of Windsor. To, you can't make this stuff up, Pastor Rankin. No one's teaching this. Operation London Bridge. Odu Acer, who brought down the Roman Empire, the first German king of Italy, would also produced generationally thousands of years later for produce a bloodline out of Poland called the Kosminskis. Capital K-O-Z M-I-N S-K-I Kaminsky through a man by the name of Solomon Isaac, I-C-E-K, Kosminski. In connection to the bloodline of Odir Acer, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, going back to Simon Magus. Operation London Bridge. Now you're wait a minute, you're thinking what and who is the bloodline of the Kosminskis? The Kosminskis bloodline had produced a young man by the name of Aaron. Mordecai Kosminski, K-O-Z-M-I-N-S-K-I, who is better known in history as Jack the Ripper. <laughs> You're not ready for the, wait, 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 wait. So, Back to the serpent, Odu Acer, who brought down the Roman Empire. Genghis Khan. Vlad the Impaler. Now Jack the Ripper, who was a Kanzarian Polish killer. Ah, the real name for Jack the Ripper is Aaron, A-R-O-N, Mordke, M-O-R-D-K-E, which means Mordecai, Kosminski, K-O-Z-M-I-N-S-K-I, better known as Jack the Ripper. In the bloodline that would produce the house of Windsor. Let that sink in. I'm going to get me a drink of water here. Listen. Is your minds being blown tonight? 
Is your minds being blown? Put up those faces. Listen. No, I don't need to see those faces. There's no insecurity in me. Listen, oh, this is messing us up, but it's letting me know I'm doing my job. I told you I would expose killers in the bloodline of Queen Elizabeth. And Aaron Mordecai Kosminski called Jack the Ripper. The term Ripper is a Polish term for impaler to bloodlet someone by sticking a pole through their backside in order to perform a shish kebab on the body that's in the bloodline of King Charles. Operation London Bridge. So the House of Windsor is a combination of Saxe Goldberg Gotha and the House of Hanover that would give birth to the term Anglo Saxon. Anglo which was actually taken from West Africa, Angola, but the European powers call it Anglo, which means an angle in the British vernacular, Saxon, Saxony out of central Germany. Operation. <laughs> London Bridge, your jaws are dropping. Simon Magus produced Odor Acer, and Odor Acer would produce the royal houses of Andorra, Belgium, Denmark, Liechtenstein. Monaco, Netherlands, Norway, Spain, the House of Bourbon, your cognac, Sweden, the papacy system, which are full of Jesuits, and the House of Windsor is the 12th dynastic house from the blood of the serpent, to Leo the Khazar, to Simon Magus, to Odu Acer, through Vlad the Impaler that you call Count Dracula, that would produce the House of Windsor. Stay, I want you to stay concentrated, uh, students. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Examine the text of Genesis 3.15, but the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of Satan. As I said a few minutes ago, Simon Magus, if you look him up on Wikipedia, there's a, a photo, a statue of him with his right finger pointing down to his right leg below his knee below his right knee with a three imprint sign which represents the three corporations, the three future corporations of the planets, Washington, D.C., London, and the Vatican. And so as we lay foundation, the bloodline of the Trill royal families when you look, Kim, do me a favor. Go to Wikipedia and type in Simon Makers and look at the statue of Simon Makers with his right finger going down on his right leg, pointing to his right leg below his knee. There's a three in print symbol, which not only represents the future three corporations of the District of Columbia, London, and the Vatican, 
But when you go to a second page and type in 12 major royal families of Europe by Sally Painter, P-A-I-N-T-E-R, on the website lovetoknow.com, love to know slash 12 major royal families of Europe. When you go down to the House of Windsor, you will see King Charles, then Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince William's wife, Kate, Queen Elizabeth, and Prince Philip. Around, listen, one of the legs of the, of the man, the left leg of each man, is the same bronze, okay, insignia that's attached to their left leg that Simon Makis, the statue was pointing at on that Wikipedia page. I want you to let only the Holy Spirit can reveal this. Operation London Bridge. Pastor Sam, can I take my time? Pastor Tara, can I take my time? Listen, the seed of a woman shall bruise the head of Satan. There is a bloodline that goes back into Greek antiquity whose name was also attached to Greek mythology and thousands of centuries later they end up within the British Empire. In Greek antiquity, going back to the days of Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates, there was a secret society of child molesters called the Salivas. Capital S A L I V A apostrophe S. The salivas, and this is where you get the term saliva. Pastor, I'm a big girl. This was a secret society going back to Greek antiquity, and it's not secret anymore whose god or demon god was the demon god called Echidna, capital E-C-H-I-D-N-A. Echidna, E-C-H-I, then D-N-A. Echidna was the Greek mythological demon god that was part demon, part monster, part woman, part snake, who would transform themselves into saliva or saliva. Centuries later, Pastor Simon Vishker The saliva bloodline, centuries later, had migrated to a territory of the Roman Empire called London, England today. You guys have got to pay attention. Listen. The saliva bloodline also starts in British antiquity going back to the 10th century, 90 AD, to John Henry 
Saliva, where Pastor Gio, he changes his name from Saliva to Savelle. Capital S-A-V-I-L-E, vile, Savelle. John Henry Savelle would also create a continuation of the Greek secret society, the Salivas, and from whence we get the term saliva, would produce a generational son by the name of Jimmy Seville. Wait, 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 wait. Jimmy Seville connected not just to the 12 royal families of Europe, but the Seville bloodline is connected to the House of Windsor through the late Prince Philip, the late husband of the late Queen Elizabeth. So you got witches, you got warlocks, you got pedophiles, you got rapists in the bloodline of Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I told you, oh, John Wick has come to destroy the system. Jimmy Seville, a child raper in connection to the house of Windsor. Operation London Bridge. I'm going to give you some time to get your reasoning back because no one is teaching this on this level. In the Seville bloodline, going back to Greek antiquity, called the Saliva Seeker Society. Now, for those of you who are students of Greek, Roman, and Norse mythology, Norse, the demon god Saliva in Norse demonology has a child named Mucus. <laughs> I gotta go. You're not ready. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. So why are you calling this saliva and why are you calling this mute? You see, what the deep state has done, they have attached curses to the names of demons that every time you say saliva or mucus, you're opening a door for the demonic. Now, I can say it because I were already prayed over us. So in Norse demonology... The child of saliva is mucus, that is the nature of Lucifer. Operation London Bridge. There's a deity demon in Greek mythology called Tefnu, with the T silent, T E F. N-U-T is the deity demon god of moisture or saliva mucus. So the Seville bloodline was originally called saliva, a generation of child killers and rapists. Operation London Bridge. In Jimmy Seville's bloodline, 10% is connected to the Polish family that I may mention 10, 15 minutes ago of the Kosminskis, a man by the name of Isaac, I-C-E-K, Kosminski, K-O-Z-M-I-N-S-K-I who would produce Abraham Yosef Kosminski, 
who would produce Aaron Mortke, M-O-R-D-K-E, or Mordecai, Aaron Mortke, or Mordecai Kuzminski, born on 9-11, September 11, 1865, who becomes Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Jack the Ripper connected all the way back, not just to the serpent, but to Simon Magus, Odu Acer, who destroyed the Roman Empire in 476 AD, Vlad the Impaler, all these counts and countesses, blood counting, that were produced to 12 royal families in connection to the Saliva bloodline out of Greece who migrated to England called the Seville bloodline of rapers through Jimmy Seville who is connected by blood to the family of the Kosminskis that were produce a serial killer Aaron Mordecai Kaminsky that you call Jack the Ripper. <laughs> oh, Lord, that verse. Kanzarian devils. And anytime you get a Kanzarian name that has these last five letters of E-W-I-C-Z, it means a son of. Jack the Ripper in the bloodline of Queen Elizabeth. There's a battle between two kingdoms, the kingdom of Christ versus the kingdom of the seed of Lucifer. Operation London Bridge. The bloodline of Jack the Ripper, Aaron Kaminsky, goes back not just to Poland, but to the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, that's connected to the house of Hanover, that's connected to the house of Battenbergs, who then changed their name to Mount Batten. And it was Dickie Mount Batten, who was a close friend of Jimmy Seville. Dickie Mount Batten, a close family friend of Queen Elizabeth was a mentor to King Charles, then Prince Charles, was blown up by the IRA. And the IRA, listen, the Irish Republican Army. Now, I'm not for violence. Listen, YouTube, don't take us down. I'm not for violence. But the people of Ireland, Northern Ireland, they want their freedom. Not just the people of Scotland and Wales, but the people of Ireland, they blew up this pedophile, Dickie Mountbatten, because he led a high level pedophile ring going to not just from the Vatican, but from the Vatican to the house of Windsor. And many of these children came up out of Northern Ireland. That's why they blew him away. Operation London Bridge. Saxe Goldberg Gotha, Hanover, Battenberg, Mountbatten. So the term Mountbatten, remember to mount up someone from behind, that's Mendenhall, remember? On the Urban Dictionary, to mount up Mountbatten, to mount up someone from behind while they are in a fetal position on the ground. After the deed is complete, you roll them over and see the humiliation in their eyes. That's the term Mount Batten, Mount Batten, or to violate. 
which brings us to two entities, the city of London, which is a corporation versus London, England. People say, well, Bishop, I, I, all the time, uh, Pastor Bobby and Pastor P. Harvey, people say, well, Bishop, will you just get to the point? You won't understand the point if you don't understand the foundation that produced the point. People want the jelly and the donut, but they have no knowledge how to make the dough. Operation London Bridge. Thank you, Pastor Swan. London, England was established by the Roman Empire during the year of 43 AD after one of the names of the Roman gods of power called Londinium. Ah, Londinium, capital L-O-N-D-I-N. I-U-M, Londonium was one of the main gods of governmental power in the Roman Empire. They established the city of what you call London today. As a side point, the term nodnol, N-O-D-N-O-L. There was a secret society within the Roman government around the time that they established London in 43 AD called the Secret Society of Nodnols. A weird term. N-O-D-N-O-L. A secret society of females who would traffic children for the Roman Empire. When you take the Roman term nodnol and write it from left to right rabbinically, you get the term London. Let me go slow. <laughs> oh, your minds are, is your minds being blown tonight? Is your minds being blown? Put up those faces if your minds are being blown. Operation London Bridge. Stay concentrated. We're not talking about the city of London as a corporation. The, the territory of London called Londonium was established by Rome as the Roman Londonium in 43 AD. And also the term Londonium then gives birth to a title of the governor of Rome called a Brit. Listen, my brothers and sisters, you call yourself British, a Brit, B-R-I-T, had exacted phys physical punishment upon those citizens of Rome who could not pay their mortgage or rent. They were rent into pieces. This is where you get the term Britain to rip in order to tame, Britain, the individuals, the people of Rome. And the term Brit or Britain also becomes a Bulgarian term for a governor of a Roman province who were worshipers of nature, of nature through the religion of Gaia. Listen to this witch by the name of Ofer Winfrey. Schools in session. Operation London Bridge. The term England, when you examine the, the first five letters, it reveals a Roman term 
that has become a Scandinavian term, Engla. Ah, capital E N G L A. And for those of you students concerning fallen angels to study, the term Angla is also the name of a fallen angel in Scandinavian demonology. Angla. Then the term Lan. Fallen angel Angla over a land called England. Thereby, 95% of the world speaks the, a demonic tongue of a fallen angel, Egla, over the land, and that dialect is called English, Leash, which is the weakest language upon the earth. Operation <laughs> London Bridge. So London or London named is established by the Roman Empire in 43 AD. Now the Corporation of London, that's another entity altogether. So you have London, but you have the corporation. So the corporation is inside uh, of a second London called the region of London. So the corporation then through the 1297 Magna Carter, which is actually a Roman le legalistic term that in 1297, the Magna Carta of Roman law through the Edward I seal, the city or the corporation of London is the seat of Rothschild power today that's controlling London and all of England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland. So the corporation is ran by the Rothschilds, blood sucking the life out of the rest of the people outside of the corporation called Londoners. Operation. London Bridge. In the term Brintonic, capital B R I double T O N I C, the term Brintonic, Alex Kidd, means a total reconstruction of the Roman Empire through the name of Great Britain. Great Britain, France, even China, all 207 nations on the earth are nothing but the offspring of the Roman Empire. This is where you get the term, Pastor Sedina, Britannica, Britannica, Britannic, it means a reconstruction of Rome. There is a section inside of the corporation called the City of London. It's called the Temple Bar. B-A-R. The Temple Bar is the only piece of real estate on this earth that's not owned by the Rothschilds. It's not owned by any of the 13 Illuminati families. It's only owned by the serpent, who is Lucifer L. Satan S. Double D. This year, LSD. Not the Temple Bar out of Dublin. I'm talking about the Temple Bar out of the city of London, 
the temple bar underneath the ground of the city, the corporation of London, through the centuries, the Roman Empire leading up to 43 AD and from 43 AD to the 1297 Magna Carta that made London a corporation over the citizens of London. The deep state of the British Empire built a double cross tunnel system underneath the ground of the city of London that goes back centuries that was built even by the House of Windsor going back at least a thousand years to traffic children brought in by from China from India, from the Americas, from South America. <clears throat> Listen, underneath the ground of the Corporation of London is a double cross tunnel system which matches the flag of Great Britain. You call it Union Jack or Jack Union, but the flag of Great Britain, listen to my English brothers and sisters, was given to King John from Pope Innocent III through the act of 1214, Pope Innocent III had designed a flag for King John of England in the form of a double cross, which represents a Vatican curse upon the British Empire to this day. So the flag was designed for the British people by Pope Innocent III through the act of 1214 and given to King John as a governmental legal right that the Vatican controls England to this day. Operation London Bridge. So there is a term called bloodlining. Bloodlines are generational. Bloodlining is the sequence of contaminated blood through inbreeding. The House of Windsor or inbreds and the rest of the royal houses of Eastern, Central and Western Europe, they're all related through incest, through what we call bloodlining. Please, 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 I'm telling you, this is, and the Oreo cookie as well, Pastor Page, the cross of Lorraine, but Dr. King was assassinated at Lorraine Hotel. That's another topic for another day. Stay concentrated. Now, Paul talks about to his son, Timothy, in 1 Timothy 1 and 4, and to Titus in Titus 3 and 9, concerning the contamination a bloodline lining in genealogies. And that's why I keep telling black folk, stop being concerned about your ancestor. The term ancestor is the manifestation from the acronym that we call ancestor or incest. People are talking about they're talking to their ancestors. No, you're talking to demons. Operation London Bridge. Stay there in Genesis 3.15, including 1 Timothy 1 and 4 and Titus 3 and 9. The sequence of inbreeding 
where Queen Elizabeth married her cousin, Prince Philip. The bloodline of Saxe Goburg Gotha connected to the von Wittens, connected to the house of Stuart, connected to the house of the Lancastrians, connected to the Tudors, connected to the Yorkists, connected to the Battenbergs, your Mountbattens, to the Seville bloodline, and on the Hanover side of the House of Windsor is the Lundbergs, L-U-N-E-B-U-R-G-S, L-U-N-E-B-U-R-G apostrophe S. So one side of the House of Windsor, they're Germans, they're Nazis, the House of Saxe Goldberg Gotha. On the other side of the House of Windsor, they're also Germans, but from the aristocratic part called the Hanovers, the Lumbergs, the Bronxwegs, capital B R A U N S C H W E I G, the Broschwigs. And then connect it to the Werth bloodline, W-E-L-F, from whence we get the term wolf. And then to Mount Batten. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> listen, listen, follow along. Operation London Bridge. On the Sax Goldberg Gotha bloodline of the House of Windsor, let me get a drink of water because what I'm going to say, it is going to wreck you. Listen. On the House of Windsor side, there is a particular bloodline called the Bathory bloodline. Pastor Sadina, Pastor Sam, Pastor Amabigra, Pastor Waylon Strong, pray for me. The Bathory bloodline, capital B-A-T-H-O-R-Y. Remember that term, bath. Through a man by the name of Gorgi the second, G Y O R G Y the second, Gorgi the second of Bathory, and notice the last four letters of the term Gorgi is O R G Y. Orgy on the Saxe Goldberg Gotha side of Queen Elizabeth was also a family out of Hungary, the Bathory bloodline through Gorgi II, born in 1518, died in 1570, from Verano, Hungary, capital V A R. A double N O Verona. This is these are receipts. Verona, Hungary. Gorgi the second would have orgies with his daughters, including his wife. That's from the bloodline, the Hungarian bloodline of going back to Germany through the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, the Saxe Goldberg Gotha side of Queen Elizabeth. Gorgi II of Bathory was an aristocrat where his seed went into England, Scotland, Ireland, and Great Britain today. Going back to the 1300s, the Bathory bloodline begins with Andrus Rockamaz. Andrus, capital A N D R A 
apostrophe S, Rakamaz, capital R A K A M A Z, going back to the 1200s. Andras Rakamaz also built underground dumps throughout Hungary, going back as early as the 1200s, connected today to the House of Windsor. Now, there is a bloodline woman. You better hold on to your socks and pole on this one. There is a bloodline serial killer by the name of Elizabeth Bathory. <laughs> Elizabeth, capital E L I S A. B E T H Elizabeth Bathory from Bator, Hungary, had killed and mutilated over 600 women and children during, listen, the year of 1560. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So Elizabeth Bathory would mutilate children, Pastor Stacy, drain their blood because she was a countess, a blood counter, and would pour the blood of children in her bathtub and would bathe in the blood of children that she mutilated, Pastor Colleen. That's why it's called the House of Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory. Her father was Stephen Bathory, who was the king of Poland who's connected to the house of Wasserbergs, who's connected to the family of the Kosminskis in Poland that were produced Jack the Ripper of blood. Progenitor that were produced Queen Elizabeth. My head hurts tonight. Listen, these counter, a count or a countess is male and female witches. It's not a title or royalty. It goes back to the Roman Empire, like I taught you an hour ago, where they would extract blood from children to use as adrenochrome and would drink the adrenochrome and pour the rest of the blood in tubs and bathe in the blood of the victims, especially children that they took out. That was Elizabeth Bathory, who is a blood progenitor whose family were produced the Kosminskis who immigrated from Hungary to Poland in the late 1700s and then reconnected to the house of Windsor. I'm John Wick. My responsibility is to decapitate the system. There's your cosmetics. As a side note, the term mascara is the name of a fallen angel. The term cosmetics is the name of a fallen angel. Another topic for another day. Operation London Bridge. So that is from the Saxe Gober Gotha side of Queen Elizabeth. Now let's go to the Hanover Germanic aristocratic side of Queen Elizabeth, the Hanover bloodline. So the Hanover bloodline 
was connected from central Germany and 20% of the family had migrated to what is now called Ireland. As the Mac Tag family, they changed their name. 20% of the Hanovers became the Irish term name Mac Tag, M A C T A I G, which would be changed to D D E Mac. McCarty, M-A-C-A-R-T-Y. Then the De McCarty's would immigrate from Ireland to Louisiana during the mid-1700s. A man by the name of Bartholomew Lewis de McCarthy would produce him and his wife a daughter whose name was Marie Delphine Lalori. Delphine, capital D-E-L-P-H-I-N-E, Lalori, oh, I'm screaming too, Pastor Sedina, capital L-A, then capital L-A-U-R-I-E. Wait a minute, so Marine Delphi, Lalori, on the handover side of Queen Elizabeth, was called... Marie Delphine, Madame Lalori, who died in Paris, France. She had to leave New Orleans four years before her death in 1449. In 1845, Pastor Sedina, the legal system in the United States, out of Washington, came to Louisiana because this demon, Marie Delphine Lolori, had decapitated heads of black children and was sold the heads of these babies on the chest of their mothers while the mothers was were chained to a pole in the basement of her mansion in New Orleans. The Lolori bloodline in the Marcardis are connected to the Bathories out of Hungary, connected to your King Charles today, the House of Windsor. Oh, this is some serious revelation, Pastor Rankin. Marie Delphine Manor, Matem Lalori. She would cut off the heads of babies and sew them on the chest of their mothers and would cut off the limbs of black male slaves and put them on the bodies of other male slaves whose arms and legs were cut off. Marie Delphi Matam Lolori, who's related to Elizabeth Bathory from the House of Saxe Goldberg Gotha, who is related to Madame Lolori from the Hanover side of King Charles. These are slave owners, these are killers, these people would take brain matter. I'm talking about not just Elizabeth Bathory, but Delphi Madame Lalori would take the brain matter of children and to put them in a broth and would force their mothers and fathers to eat it. Who did that? Madame Delphine Lalori in the bloodline of the Hanover side connected out of Germany and Ireland to 
the House of Windsor today. These women were blood countess. They were blood counters. When the legal system out of Washington, D.C. came to New Orleans and they were after Marie Delphine LaLaurie and her life, Pastor Sedina, is actually portrayed as a little girl do you guys remember the movie going back oh, to the early 50s called The Bad Seed? I can't remember the actress's name, Pastor Colleen. McCormick. I can't remember her first name, Pastor Colleen. She was born a bad seed. Well, that movie was actually portraying the childhood of... Delphine, Marie Delphine, Madame LaLaurie as a child. Oh, my God. Listen. Okay, you guys don't hear any sound? There's no sound? All right. If you hear sound, put up the thumbs. You're back on. I'm mean, back on. Oh, see, the devil's... <laughs> Oh, my God. Now, if you guys want me to come back in five minutes, let me know. I'll, we will do that. Okay? Uh, let us know. We will do that. But if you want me to stay on, just say, Bishop, keep teaching. Okay? You see, the, the devil is mad. Okay? You can hear us good. Can you see me good? Is there any buffering? If there's no buffering... Put up a thumbs and say there's no buffering. Okay, let's move forward. You can always watch it a second time. Thank you so much, Pastor Monique. Oh, I'm screaming too in my spirit. Operation London Bridge. These witches. Elizabeth Bathory and Delphine LaLaurie. These were blood countess. This is where you get the medical term, a blood count. In the 1998 book by Kalia Katharina Smith, Journey into the Darkness, Ghosts and Vampires of New Orleans. Journey into the Darkness, Ghosts and Vampires of New Orleans by Kalila Katharina Smith, a scholar when it comes to Madame Delphine LaLaurie. She says that this witch that were produced generationally at Queen Elizabeth would decapitate the ears, the nose, the mouth, the tongue, the toenails, the arms, not just Elizabeth Bathory from the Saxe Goldberg side, but Delphine Lolori from the Hanover side of Queen Elizabeth. They, when the authorities went into her mansion in New Orleans and her mansion can be, can be viewed on Google Images the mansion of Delphine LaLaurie at 1140 Royal Street in New Orleans that at the time the land was owned by the Monsanto family. The Monsanto family who was driven out of Holland in the Netherlands because they was poisoning the food supply of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe. They went to New Orleans and the friends, okay, of Isaac Monsanto, he was good friends with the brutal slave owner 
who was also kicked out of the Netherlands as part of his family out of Holland, and they went to South America, the family of Moses Lazarus. Moses Lazarus, then because of the Portuguese Inquisition that they wanted to run the Kazarians out of South America, the Lazarus family went to New York City. And let me give you a test. Who was the daughter of Moses Lazarus? Can you remember? A young woman who wrote the great Colossus. Give me your tired, your poor, your hungry, learning. <laughs> Listen. His daughter was Emma Lazarus, who was pro-slavery, a Kazarian witch, a proponent of black depopulation and black eugenics and the enslavement of people of color. But she became the face of the Statute of Liberty. The face of the Statue of Liberty, Paso Whalen, is the face of a devil. Are you guys getting any buffering? Okay, I want to make sure my... My staff here, not just in New York, but also in Los Angeles, is texting me. I got a, another small screen here, and we're just, they wanted me to ask you guys, are we okay? There's no buffering. Okay, I just want to make sure. So the face of the Statue of Liberty is also connected to the bloodline of the Bathory aristocracy, Elizabeth Bathory, and the bloodline of the Lolori family out of Ireland who immigrated to New Orleans, Delphine Lolori. What I'm doing, oh Lord, Pastor Stacy. Pray for me because, listen, I'm exposing line upon line, precept upon precept. The Statue of Liberty is the face of Lucifer. That's why, right, Pastor Sam, when President Trump was in office, actually, he hasn't, he never left. President Trump had a plan, okay, had a plan, Pastor Claus, to take down the Statue of Liberty. Now, people say, wait a minute, wait a minute, Bishop. Why would President Trump do that? Because President Trump knows history. The original Statue of Liberty was a black woman given to the United States from the French as a gift to our nation. A black woman holding the word of God, the Bible, in her right hand in the ball and chain in her left. The original Statue of Liberty was a black woman. But these communist, socialist, liberal demons did not want that. So they removed that and sent it back to France and put up this dog nose. Okay, let me let me get off here. Listen, I'm not talking about Jews. I'm talking about one family, the Rothschilds. Okay, and put up this face of Lucifer as the image of freedom. Operation London Bridge. The bloodline of. Both Elizabeth Bathory, thank you, and Delphine, Madame LaLaurie, is connected to the Patterson bloodline by incest out of England who migrated 
to Haiti as slave owners. Dr. John Patterson, capital P-A-T-E-R-S-O-N, from the bloodline of the Hanover German bloodline, part of it was in England and the other part was in central Germany, migrated to Haiti to own over 300 slaves in the early 1800s. And his wife, Helen, had given birth to a daughter by the name of Annie Mary Patterson. Oh my God, listen, I wanna make sure, do you guys hear, do you guys hear me? You see the devil's, oh Lord have mercy. Now, should I stop and come back, Dr. Wimberley? Everyone, should I stop or should I just keep teaching? Okay, <laughs> oh Lord God, listen, let me know, you're, you're just fine, thank you, Pastor Angela. And if there's any buffering and, you know, we do apologize, but the Holy Spirit said, Bishop, stop apologizing. Just keep teaching. Listen, Annie Mary Patterson was born in Haiti in 1820 and became a high-level Caribbean witch where her goal, she said, was to curse all of Haiti, and that curse is there today. Now, as a sign of, do you guys remember the, oh, the prime minister, the president of Haiti was assassinated months ago. You remember that, uh, student pastor SoCal Ed, uh, pastor Jovano, uh, jo uh, pastor, I said him pastor, <laughs> his father was a pastor, but president Jovano was assassinated and why? Because he wanted to stop the drug crack cocaine trade from coming into his country. So the CIA, through Colombian intelligence out of South America, sent a hit team of mercenaries to take him out. Listen, Haitians are under a curse because of this witch going back to 18 to the early 1800s, named Annie Mary Patterson. Annie Mary Patterson, Pastor Burgess, thank you, Pastor Burgess, moved to Jamaica. What was my Jamaican brothers and sisters? I'm praying that all, we got students in Jamaica, in Kingston. This witch, Annie Mary Patterson, was a 33rd degree Scottish Rite Mason who moved from Haiti to Jamaica and took over the Rose Hall Plantation in Montego. But you're right there, Christopher. Oh, Pastor Christopher knows one of our talk, what I'm talking about. The Rose Hall Estate, the last time I was in Jamaica, oh, Lord, it's been years ago, maybe 2001, 2002. And, and, you know, I got pastors down there, Pastor Chris, who want me to come back. So I may do that, okay, in the next couple of months. Rose Hall Estate was taken over by this witch, by the name of Annie Mary Patterson, who had married into the Palmer family. Great to see you, Dorothy, uh, student pastor Dorothy Brown. So Annie Marie Patterson, the white Witch of Rose Hall in Montego Bay, Jamaica, had murdered countless of slaves, mutilated them. 
she would castrate men's testicles and put them in spaghetti to feed other families of the slave owners in the area. Wait a minute, wait. This witch, who's related to the Bathory bloodline, hungry, who's related to the Lolori bloodline, New Orleans out of Ireland by way of Hanover, Germany. She's related as through the not just the Palmer bloodline through her husband, but through the Patterson bloodline. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. The Bathories, the Lolores, and the Palmers slash Pattersons or Pattersons slash Palmers, they're all related. To this day, to the late Queen Elizabeth. Oh, Lord, you're not ready. Listen, wait a minute now. The white witch of Rose Hall would cut off the testicles of male slaves and put them in spaghetti unbeknownst to her neighbors who were also slave owners who she was feeding. But to my Jamaican brothers and sisters... Some of the other male slaves took her out. And it's to my understanding as of today, which knowledge, I don't know if the Jamaicans know this, but uh, my staff said that the slaves had burnt up the body of this witch, the witch of Rose Hall in Montego Bay, Jamaica, <laughs> Annie Mary Patterson, Palmer, related to the Bathers, related to the Lolores, to both the houses of Saxe Goldberg Gotha and to the house of Hanover that's connected to the house of Windsor. No one is teaching this. You don't play with the Jamaican people. The slaves that could not be controlled were sent to Jamaica. Nothing has changed. Ooh, Lord. And you got to be, you don't know what you're eating to. Thank you, Pastor Errol. Listen, I, I, you know, my, my, my staff are saying that, you know, they got some buffering from our end, but I want to make sure if you guys want me to keep teaching, I'll keep teaching. Thank you, sir. So the Bathory bloodline connected to the Lolores, connected to the Pattersons, connected to Annie Palmer, and Bathory, LaLaurie, Patterson, Annie Palmer's bloodline through incest is connected to the Marshall bloodline also out of both Saxe Goldberg Gotha and Hanover, Germany. To the Marshall bloodline in both Saxe Goldberg Gotha and Hanover, a part of the House of Windsor today, the Marshall bloodline. Now, when my staff told me this this morning, I didn't know that. Who's Marshall? The Marshalls came up out of central Germany, and 30% of the Marshalls came up out of England, going back to the slave trade during the 14, 15, and 1600s, Operation London Bridge. There was a slave owner in the year of 1666 out of England by the name of Sir Lloyd Marshall who had given birth generationally to other Lord Lloyd Marshalls, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. Lloyd Marshall, during the 21st century, 
a descendant of the Lord Marshall bloodline out of both central Germany and eastern England. Lord Marshall in the 20 for 20th in the 20th century, in the 20th century, Lord Marshall married a young woman by the name of Eleanor Louise Caldwell. Capital C O W E double L. He married his third cousin. Lloyd Marshall married his third cousin, Eleanor Louise Caldwell. C O W C O W E double L. They would produce a son. Pastor Andrew and Pastor Muhammad. On his birth certificate, the son of Lloyd Marshall and Eleanor Louise Caldwell, a child, a son by the name of Lloyd, Lloyd Marshall Jr., who is actually Lloyd Marshall the 11th, on his birth certificate. But the child had changed his name at the age of 18 from Lloyd Marshall Jr. to Theodore Ted Bundy. <laughs> I'm going, you're not ready. You're not ready. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go through this slow, as Pastor Sadina says. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ted Bundy. Now, why would a child, when that child becomes 18, change their name from Lloyd Marshall to Theodore Ted Bundy? Lloyd Marshall Jr. was an admirer of a serial killer coming out of England named Theodore Charles Bundy during the 1800s, the same time of Jack the Ripper. Lloyd Marshall molested his son, Lloyd Marshall Jr., who changed his name to Ted Bundy at 18. Theodore Ted Bundy was electrocuted, received the death sentence because during the 70s, he went on a murder spree of women. He did to women that his mother and grandmother did to him. The Marshall bloodline. The Caldwell bloodline, the Annie Palmer bloodline, Bathory, LaLaurie, Patterson, Palmer, connected all the way back to Vlad the Impaler, to Odusser, who overcame and destroyed the Roman Empire in 476 AD, going back to the bloodline of Simon Magus in Acts 8, which has produced the House of Windsor today. Operation London Bridge. 10% of the Marshall family had married into a Spanish family out of Barcelona, Spain, going back to the mid-1800s, called the Ripoli bloodline, R-I-P-O-L-L-E. -L -L -E. The Ripoli bloodline was integrated into the Marshall bloodline because some of the Ripoli bloodline who were Spaniards were also slaves 
owned by a percentage of the Marshall family, both out of Germany and England, who had migrated to the, to the United States, and 5% of the Marshalls had owned slaves in the nation of Spain. A young woman by the name of Enriqueta Marti Ripolis. Wait a minute now. Capital E N R I Q U E T A Enriqueta with the Q silent Marti M A R T I. Ripoles, R-I-P-O-L-E-S. She was one of the most powerful mass serial killers of children in Spanish history. She belongs to the bloodline because of incest to the Marshalls, Bathory's, Lolores, and the witch of Rose Hall, Annie Palmer, going back to Simon Magus. Do you understand to understand the house of Windsor today and how demonic they are, you got to go back to the bloodlines of these generations who were blood counts and countesses through bloodlining. Operation London Bridge. In my conclusion, the bloodline, Saxe Gober Gotha, Hanover. Battenberg, Mountbatten, Lancastrians, the Tudors, the Stewarts, the Yorkists, the Lundbergs, the Saxonies, the Wirths, the Wolves, the Margraves, connected to the House of Windsor today, the House of Bathory, Lolori, Annie Palmer, they're all related by blood through the 12 royal families of Eastern, Central, and Western Europe. Now, remember, as we're closing out tonight, at the beginning of tonight's lecture, in module one, volume one of Operation London Bridge, the bishop had said under the unction of the Holy Spirit, that there were 260 popes in the papacy system, their history, plus 70 emperors in the history of the Roman Empire. 260 plus 70 is the number 330. Wait a minute now. 33, 0, or 330, the first 33 degrees of the global Masonic order. It's a demonic paradigm. 260 popes plus 70 Roman emperors, emperors, 330, 33.0. In the document called the first Sex by Elizabeth Gold, G-O-U-L-D, Elizabeth Gold Davis, through the Penguin Publishing Company in 1971, Elizabeth Gold had said that through the Middle Ages, and I'm going to blow your minds right now. Let me ask you a question. Has there ever been a female pope in Vatican history? Has there ever been a female pope in Vatican history? The answer is yes. During the Middle Ages, and we're talking about the Middle Ages between from the 5th to the 15th centuries, the Middle Ages that we call 
in European antiquity as the medieval period. There was a woman by the name of Ioannis Anglicus. Oh, P. Harvey, why are you doing that? I own this capital I O A double N E S Anglicus, capital A N G L I C U S. When my staff told me that, uh, uh, Pastor Donna, I, I, I almost fainted. This woman, Ionis Anglicus, was sent by the bloodline of the Habsburgs to infiltrate the bloodline of the Barcarocks that took over the Vatican order in the year of 855 AD. This woman, who was eventually named Pope John VIII, between the pontifications of St. Leo IV and the pontifications of St. Benedict III, someone named themselves as John had infiltrated the Vatican Cardinal Order. And for a period of 25 months, she reigned as Pope John VIII. Wait a minute now. Wait, wait, wait. They called her Pope Joan or Ionis Anglicus, whose bloodline was connected to the Habsburgs who wanted to infiltrate the bloodline of the Vatican through Leo the Khazar. There's a Vatican document by Dr. Cardinal Martin of Opova capital O-P-A-V-A, there's a document called the Chronicon Pontificum A-E-T Imperatorium. The Chronicon Pontificum A Imperatorium or Torum, Cardinal Martin of Apova said that there was a woman by the name of Ionis Anglicus, Anglicus sent by the House of Habsburgs to contaminate Kinsarian blood of the popes. But this woman came in under the name of John Anglicus, ah, A-N-G-L-I-C-U-S. She came out of a German bloodline out of the district called Mainz, Germany. Capital M-A-I-N-Z to connect it later to the House of Hanover and the House of the Habsburgs, though she was eventually through the House of Hanover, but the House of the Habsburgs hired and contracted her to go in as John Anglicus. But how was she exposed, Pastor Donna? Pastor Sadia, how was she exposed, Pastor Sam and Pastor Linda? This woman, oh Lord Jesus, 
who was ordained as Pope John the Eighth out of Mainz, Germany, was on the throne as a Pope for two years, seven months, and four days. Two years plus seven, nine plus four, 13, the fir first 13 degrees of the Masonic order on the back of the dollar bill is a pyramid that has 13 layers of stones or bricks from the ground to the top underneath the eye of Bata or Ra for the new order. How was she exposed? This Pope John or Joan, during a procession, a march, along with bishops and cardinals, she was leading the procession in 858 AD from St. Peter's Basilica to the Lateran, L-A-T-E-R-A-N, which is another building within the city of Rome that was donated by the Lateranus family, capital L-A-T-E-R-A-N-U-S, the, the Lateranus family then had married into the son of this woman who was perpetrating as a man pope. Wait a minute now. So on her procession, she was pregnant and no one even noticed. And she gave birth. She went into labor. Pope Joan went into labor as John the Eighth went into labor and gave birth to a son. Can you imagine everyone thinking that this is a male pope, but this so-called male, who's a woman, goes into labor and delivers a son. Can you imagine how the bishops and the post, they, they, folks, they, not just the bishops, but the cardinals, they probably ran away because they were thinking this is demonic. And then she was put under house arrest. Now, somebody said, what does this woman have to do with King Charles? Because her bloodline and connection, not just to the house of Hasburgs, but to the house of Hanover, King Charles III, and the entire clan of the house of Windsor, or direct descendants from this woman named Pope Joan or Joan Anglicus. And her name is not made mention in the history of the 260 popes. I'm going to say something, Pastor Carmen. It's going to be radical. The Lord spoke to me today and said, Bishop, don't be shocked if one day there is a transgendered Pope. I said, what, what was that? Look, he says, Bishop, don't be surprised. One day there will be a transgendered in my conclusion of module one, volume one, Operation London Bridge. So after Pastor Angela, this woman called Pope Joan, who called herself Pope John the Eighth, was exposed because she gave birth to a child in front of all of Rome. Then the following year, in 859 AD, Pastor Chris Black and Pastor Michelle and Pastor Sam, 
the papacy system put a law into effect where another woman was influential in pressuring cardinals to write a new law of how to check the sexual orientation of new popes. This woman, by the name of Marozia of Tesculum, capital M-A-R-O-Z-I-A of Tesculum, capital T-U-S-C-U-L-U-M, her title was the title called Senatrix. Wait a minute. What's Senatrix? Capital S-E-N-A-T-R-I-X. Senatrix means senator. So the United States government is built upon the Roman system of not just congressmen and congresswomen, but you have the Senate. So when a man or a woman calls themselves senator, they're saying that they are a senatrix. Not just a senator, but the term senatrix means a politician who gives out tricks. Going back to the time of Marzia of Tesculum, a woman, a witch, who was pregnated by five other popes. She had put political pressure upon the papacy to create a papacy law of how to check the sexual orientation of a new pope. This comes back into the House of Windsor today. So there is a chair in the Vatican called the Dung Chair, capital D-U-N-G chair, that contains a hole at the bottom of the chair where a cardinal would take his hand and reach up through the hole to check the testicular fortitude of a new pope. Because there were other women and transvestites who were trying to attain the papacy at the Pope Joan. The dumb chair is used today because there were transvestites who were elected to the papacy who had received operations, male to female or female to male, and that's why the papacy still uses the dumb chair to check the testicular fortitude of a new pope. Operation London Bridge in this time was called the porno crazy time. Not just the pornographic time, but the porno crazy time where after Pope Joan was exposed, the new popes had to be checked sexually. In my conclusion, I honest Anglicus from 855 to 858 AD ruled as John the Eighth. The bloodline of the Habsburgs connected to Philip II of Spain. Philip the second of Spain, Habsburg blood, married into the House of Windsor that was previously called the House of Saxe-Goburg-Gotha, married 
a woman by the main, main name of Mary the First of England on the 25th of July in 1554. So the Habsburgs married through incest into the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha because Mary the First was the second cousin of Philip II out of Spain. Operation London Bridge. Now, if you're tired, I can stop. If you want me to keep teaching, Bishop, say, Bishop, keep teaching. I can hear. I can hear the Lord's voice through pastor saying, Bishop, no need to say that. Keep teaching. Listen. In my conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, Operation London Bridge. See, this is scholarship teaching. No one's teaching this. Stay there in Genesis 3.15, 1 Timothy 1 and 4, and Titus 3 and 9. Operation London Bridge. The bloodline of the House of Windsor today, through Saxe Gober Gotha and the, the House of Hanover, had also intermarried or embedded the bloodline going back to the 17 and 1800s into what is called today the Czech Republic or Prague, the Czech Republic. The Bohemian Empire was the imperial state representing the Roman Empire's presence in Eastern Europe. The Bohemian crown incorporated states such as England and France and Germany. And today you have the Bohemian Grove here in Northern California the cremation of care came from the Bohemian Empire, the imperial state of the Roman Empire, which is now called Prague in the Czech Republic, where every king and queen through the House of Windsor was a part and even is to this day of that yearly visit to Northern California of the cremation of care. In my conclusion, the house of Draculisti, mm, mm, mm. the house of Draculisti, Draculisti, capital D R A C. U-L-E-S-T-I, the house of Draculisti through the kingdom of Wallachia, capital W-A-L-L-A-C-H-I-A in central Romania, gave a birth to a generation of male and female countess and countesses called vampires. Marima, Marina Abramovich, who's really a man, and she's actually in the bloodline of Jessalyn Maxwell, this witch out in California who's good friends with Gay-Z, I'm sorry, Jay-Z, Marina Abramovich is a straight-up vampire who's in the bloodline of Vlad the Impaler. So the house of Draculisti of the Wakia kingdom of vampires, of witches and warlocks called counts or countesses that we call like blood counts. What's your blood count? They came from the house of Draculisti. And this is where we get the term draconian laws. that produced the kingdoms of Moldova, 
of Moldavia and Romania. The bloodline called the Florescu, the Florescu, capital F L O R E S C U. Now, there's a website called The Bloodline of Dracula. The Bloodline of Dracula, which is a book. So, the bloodline of the Florescu bloodline de developed draconian laws to protect vampires. So every spirit cooker is the vampire. So any time a man or a woman blood sucks someone through spirit cooking, they are a part of the draconian empire that their goal is to extract adrenal chrome chromosome or adrenot Rome. Vlad the third, the impaler. Now the term impaler means to take a steel pole in the backside of a child or an adult. Now as a side point, for those of you who love Christopher Columbus, he was a Genoan Kazarian devil, okay? Sent by Queen Isabella out of Spain to destroy the new world that he developed as the New World Order, okay? His real name is Cristoforo Colombo. Cristoforo or Cristoforo, Cristoforo Colombo was a Genoan Kazarian, him and along with Amerigo Vespucci, another Kazarian devil, were slave owners, and they would shish kebab children by impaling babies, taking steel poles, and going in the backside of children and put their bodies with the pole inside of them on a lather to shish kebab them over fire for him, his family, and his soldiers to consume. So if any statute needs to be taken down, it's this devil, Christopher Columbus. He was a bloodline descendant of Vlad the Impaler. The Floris, the Floris Q, the Floris Q bloodline, capital F L O R E S C U, wrote draconian laws for the bloodline of Vlad the Impaler one, two, and three. Vlad the third was now that you call Count Dracula. The original term was called Count Draconian. Every ounce of blood that Vlad III, Count Draconian, took, he took that blood from a child of a young man or woman or an adult and will put the blood on a contract with the name of the child that he took out, that represents the consummation of draconian law. So Count Dracula, it was originally called Count Dracolian. The Dracolian <laughs> laws. Well, John Podesta is the blood descendant of Vlad the Impaler. Draconian laws through Transylvania, trans, transgender, Vania. I had a level witch by the name of Sylvania who was a transgender witch during the time of Vlad the Impaler III. Trans Sylvania. Born in 1431, born in 1431 AD and died in 1476 AD, he was assassinated by a soldier 
whose teenage daughter was impaled by this vampire, Vlad the Impaler the Third. The nickname of Count Draconian or Dracula, Vlad the Third was called Trachea. Oh Lord Jesus, listen. The term trachea comes up out of the Greek empire through Greek Western medicine. Now, for those of you doctors who are adherents to the Hippocratic Oath, when you read, when you examine the Hippocratic Oath, when you pronounce the Hippocratic Oath, when you graduated from medical school, you just curse yourself. Because the content of the Hippocratic Oath was to give allegiance to the medical gods of the Greek and Roman Empire. So the term trachea was the name of a Roman Greek god, okay? And that demon of trachea that we also call today succubi. Ah, so the term succubi is the name of a female demon that infiltrates men's dreams at night. And the term incubi is the name of a male demon who infiltrates the dreams of women. Incubi, incubation period, succubi, succubation. Oh, my child, Bishop, is in a incubator. Your child's already cursed. See, but you don't know. People destroy for the lack of knowledge. So when a child is put into an incubator, that child, unbeknownst to that mother and father, is already cursed with an incubation period called incubi, incubus, succubi. People are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, and that is trachea. From Vlad the Third to Vlad the Fourth, who was a monk, and to Radu, R A D U, the Great the Fourth, and to Mercia, M I R C E A the Fifth, then married into the family of Princess Stanka. S-T-A-N-C-A, though she's an English princess, but the term Stanka, S-T-A-N-C-A, is actually a Hungarian term meaning skank. I'm sorry, I, I got it, skank, Stanka. And then the bloodline is connected to the countess called Claudine von Kisried, K-I-S-R-H-E-D-E, which is connected to the House of Windsor, to King George V, through his two sons, Edward VIII, who abdicated the throne on the 10th of December, 1936, because he was in love with a woman by the name of Bessie Wallace Simpson Warfield. Bessie Wallace Simpson Warfield, or better known as Wallace Simpson, unbeknownst to King George, was the second cousin of the man she married, Edward VIII. These inbred demons. So Edward VIII abdicated the throne and it was passed down to his brother who became King George, who later had died of lung cancer because of the pressures of World War II and they were advert. Um, smokers, wait a minute. So Wallace Simpson's father, okay, a man by the name of William Warfield, 
Her father's bloodline, the bloodline of Warfield, goes back to London, Middlesex, England in the 1400s, who had worked as indigent servants for the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha. Wait a minute now. So a descendant of one of the servants of the house of Saxe Goldberg Gotha that you call the house of Windsor, centuries later, would produce a woman who was divorced two times before, a woman by the name of Wallace Simpson, who was an agent of the OSS, the Office of Strategic Services, the precursor of the Central Intelligence Agency after World War II. Wallace Simpson did not love Edward VIII. He was there, just like this witch today, Meghan Markle, to destroy the British crown. And then the daughter of King George. The six would then give birth to Queen Mother to Elizabeth. That when she got married to Prince Philip, her second cousin, okay, she wanted to take the name Mountbatten, but her mother had said, no, you're going to be called Queen Elizabeth II, not Queen Elizabeth II Mountbatten. Because the mother queen knew, and also Queen Mary of Tech, they knew Queen Mary of Tech is the grandmother of Queen Elizabeth II. They knew the ancestrous bloodline of the Mountbattens connected to the Battenbergs. And this child, Elizabeth, born in 1926 and died in the year of 2020. You heard me, I did not make a mistake, born in 1926, died not in 2022 last week, stop. She died two years ago through Operation London Bridge when one of the seals of the queen was taken down from the gates of Buckingham Palace. And the only time that is done is when a queen has become liquidated. So the, for the past two years, we have seen not the real Queen Elizabeth, but a high-level clone, a creation of British MI5 and MI6. And that is the end tonight. After two hours, 58 minutes, in 10 seconds of module one, volume one of Operation London Bridge. And I thank you. Is your minds blown tonight? I said, if you put up those face, if your minds have been blown, listen. Put up, listen, your minds have been blown. You received a world-class education. Operation London Bridge. Module 2, Volume 2. I will announce on tomorrow when we're, we will have that. Now, I'm flying. I was going to fly to Dallas on Sunday, but I want to let the students know in Dallas, I'm not going to fly, um, praise God, uh, until Tuesday, okay? Um, the ordination um, that we have planned for one of our pastors uh, to be an apostle, we have moved that to the third week in October. So it works out for the best. So I'm not rushed to get to Dallas, but I have to get to Dallas because I have a very important meeting on Next Friday, I believe the 23rd. I think it's next Friday. 
Anyway, 22nd or 23rd. So I'll be flying to Dallas on Tuesday instead of Sunday. Okay. My head hurts. <laughs> Jabari. Oh, my. Did you learn something today? Bloodlines from conception to birth to now. Sexy of Goldberg Gother, Hanover, the bloodline of Salivas, the Seville, Jimmy Seville, Elizabeth Bathory, Madame Delphine, Lolori, Annie Palmer, the white witch of Rose Hall and Jim, all related. All of them. Every single, and this was written by, listen, by the University of Tel Aviv. Six months ago, the University of Tel Aviv put up a stat, and this came from them. So don't write me, A.D., and tell me or call me an anti-Semite. This is from Jewish scholars, Okay. So the University of Tel Aviv had said six months ago that every single Kazarian on the planet are related by blood. Every single one of them. Connected to every single uh, royal family. Every single pope are related by blood. Every single Roman Empire emperor or related by blood to the 260 popes, to every president, prime minister, and potentate, they're all related through incest. And this is who we are battling against. Satan sent Meghan Markle. I'll say it again. Satan sent Meghan Markle. She is a broken, fractured, and a damaged woman. She doesn't love Harry. She's not in love with Harry. It's all about power with little Megan, a third-rate actress whose family wants nothing to do with her because she's a straight-up liar. She's a Jezebel. That's what she is. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. So I'm telling you, Megan, I don't want you to end up like Princess Die. Make uh, listen. Well, who took out Princess Die? Am I six? Because Princess Die was pregnant with a with a baby, a child of color. So Prince Charles in the House of Windsor did not want a child of color to come into the house of Saxe Goldberg Gothic in the house of Hanover. Now you got Meghan Markle. Be careful, Meghan. I don't want you to end up like Lady Di. Don't take us down, YouTube. I'm not threatening anyone. You see, these people are all about power. That's all she, Meghan Markle is a witch. She's not in love with Harry. I said it, she's a straight up witch because Bishop John Wick has the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, okay? That's where Angela Merkel, the former chancellor of Germany, related to the late Queen Elizabeth. Do you know Angela Merkel is related to the former prime minister of England, Theresa May? who's related to the former CIA director, Gina Haspel. Yes. Theresa May, Angela Merkel, Gina Haspel, and the late Queen Elizabeth, the all cousins. Gina Haspel, the first female director of the CIA, is not breathing anymore. And you know why? Because a week after this election, when these Democrats stole the election a couple of years ago, Jenna Haspel was conspiring with Barack Obama, with Uncle Joe Brandon, with the Democratic Party to help rig this election for this fool who can't remember his right foot from his left thumb. 
Okay? So she was in Germany. That's right, Pastor Libby. Okay? We're the Dominion servers. Come on, I, I don't want to get... Listen, we're the Dominions, the, the Skydo Corporation in Frankfurt, Germany, that's ran by German intelligence, the BND. So President Trump sent a covert team out of Fort Hoochin in Arizona, flew thousands of miles a week after the election to Frankfurt, Germany, and infiltrated the Skydo Corporation that at the time was owned by German intelligence, the BND. In German intelligence, the BND, they are the largest intelligence agency on earth, not the CIA, not the, not the Mossad. So Gina Haspel was caught in a crossfire because she was in Frankfurt, Germany at the Skydo Corporation. Our Patriot Black Op soldiers took her took her out of the building. She was shot in the lake, put her on a plane, Pastor Sam, and they were on their way to Gitmo to liquidate her. But she began to sing like three canaries. <laughs> okay? So they rerouted the flight, okay, to Greenland. The new Gitmo up north. And Gina Haspel is no longer breathing. Now, this Gina Haspel that you're seeing, that's a clone. You see, when you talk to people like this, they think you have lost your mind. I'm serious. You got clones running this government. We got a president who's a clone. Okay. You got a vice president who's a man. Okay. With an Adam's apple. Come on now. Okay. Who's nothing but a hoe? I said it, a hoe. You got clones running our government. So Gina Haspel that you're seeing is not Gina Haspel. She was sent to Greenland and liquidated by the Trump administration. Okay. Look at little Kamala Harris. Okay. Adam Apple's Kamala whose bloodline through her mother goes back to India. Nothing against our precious Indian brothers and sisters. Well, so we got classes, small classes in Bombay and New Delhi. So we thank God for that. And also we got a, a class in Southern India with the uh, Mali Ali people. Okay. And we hope to get back there one day. Last time I was in India um, was four years ago. Okay. Another topic for another day. So, Kamala Harris's mother, her mother's bloodline goes back to the 1930s of Hindus who during the 40s had assassinated Mahatma Gandhi. The assassin of Mahatma Gandhi is related in the bloodline of the mother of Kamala Harris. I said this on the Scott McKay show maybe about two years ago. Mind blowing. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with the bishop tonight. Please put up those thumbs. Listen, click the like buttons, share this module. And I got it. Mind blowing tonight, man of God. I need every one of you. To tune in next week, we're going to bring a module two, volume two of Operation London Bridge. I just got them exposing to you for the past three hours of interconnected historical bloodlines through bloodlining of past, present, and future of Operation London Bridge. And I guarantee you there will be a transvestite pope. You may think it's crazy. It's coming. The Holy Spirit says, it is so bad now, Bishop. There's going to be a transvestite, a transgender pope. Okay? 
but the devil is a lie. All of the moderators, thank you, Pastor um, Bethany. Every one of you, if you believe in this teaching, this teaching has been a blessing to you. All of the moderators, okay, please put in um, our PayPal link. Now, I got to got some great news to share with you. You don't need a PayPal account, okay? You don't need a PayPal account. So um, to all of the moderators, if you can, please put in paypal.me for slash GSRR Media Group. Right beside Pastor Sam's name, right beside Pastor Charity's name, click on that link. And now, brothers and sisters, you don't need a PayPal link. Don't leave us now. We got great numbers tonight. Don't leave us. I got a major announcement this, uh, that I'm going to say to you guys. Every one of you, please plant $50 or more, okay? Please plant $50 or more. We need your help because we're here exposing demons. Right beside Pastor Emma's name or Pastor Colleen's name or Pastor I'm a big girl's name or Pastor Sam's name. Click on that link, paypal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. PayPal.me forward slash GSRR Media Group. Right beside Dr. Wimbley's name. You don't need a PayPal account, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Just click on the link. And once you click on the PayPal link, then click send. Click send. Don't click request, okay? If you click on the PayPal link, click send, and please plant $50 or more. And God has blessed you with great jobs. Please plant the Lord's tithe. We don't say the word so here because the term so or sow is the name of a female hog or pig. So we don't say the word so here at, at Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group New York in Los Angeles. We say the word plant. So all of the moderators, again, Pastor Sam, Pastor I'm a Big Girl, all of you guys, again, please, and Pastor Colleen, put up the PayPal link. We need your financial help. Plant the Lord's tithe. It's not your tithe. People tickle me when they say, well, I got to pray. No, no. Uh, God's word is a commandment, okay? So whether you get paid once a week, once every two weeks, once every three weeks, once a month, plant the Lord's tithe right now. Uh, right beside Pastor Sam's name, Pastor Emma's name, Pastor Colleen's name, Pastor I'm a big girl saying, plant, click on the PayPal link, okay? Take this, check your finger, whether you got a laptop, a desktop, um, Chrome tablet, ladies and gentlemen, Apple tablet, um, iPhone, Android, or Apple Watch. Click on the link right beside Pastor Sam's name and Pastor Sandina's name. Please click on that link. Click on the pay on the PayPal link. Once you click on the link, then click send. Don't click request. Click send. Click send and plant fifty dollars or more. And as Pastor uh, Monique and Pastor Chris Black always says, you should be like popcorn. Okay, fifty, sixty, eighty, one hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. Stay with us, everyone. Don't leave us. I got a major announcement to make. Okay. Plant the Lord's tithe. Plant your best. That's right, Pastor Colleen. The best tithe for the Lord because it's his, okay? Because God will get it back another way, either through your transmission or through your house. So please, tithes open the way to blessings. That's right, Pastor, uh, student, um, Pastor Barbara Taylor. You are 1 billion percent right, woman of God. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Right beside Pastor Sam's name, click on that link, the PayPal link. After you click on the PayPal link, then click send, put in your very, very best financial amount. Don't be like Cain giving God scraps. Don't do that. The Lord didn't give you scraps when he went to Calvary. Also, we got we have a cash app as well. If Pastor Colleen can put in the cash app is the dollar sign, then global revolution in large uppercase letters, then, then number one, okay? So our cash app is um, the dollar sign, then global revolution, all in uppercase letters, 
and number one. Also, if you want to send your checks and money orders, you can do so at Bishop Larry Gators, P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, 90717. Again, Bishop Larry Gators, P.O. Box 161, Lomita, California, that's L-O-M-I-T-A, uh, 90717. Write your checks and money orders out to Bishop Larry Gators. The rest of you, all of you, please plant right now. Go to PayPal. And all of the moderators right, right now, don't leave us, everyone. Uh, put in right now that PayPal link, and we're going to get to a major announcement, okay? Put in paypal.me right beside Pastor Sam's name. Click on that link. Once you click on the link, after you click on the link, then click send. And please, whether it's fifty dollars, sixty, eighty, you should be like popcorn, two hundred dollars. Do you know we got spiritual sons, praise God, and daughters in the entertainment industry whose names we will not reveal because we got enemies left and right. I've got spiritual sons who are professional athletes in the NFL, the NBA. Okay. A few of them here that play for the New York Yankees, okay, whose names don't want to be revealed because they don't want to be hassled because I'm a threat to the system, okay? And they send a thousand dollars a month. They want to send more. They said, Bishop, Dad, I can't, I want to send more. They said, No, a thousand a month, okay? The rest of you who are close to being a millionaire, but you got a financial business, and what we've been going through. Um, for the past two to three years has not put a, a damper or a dent in your finances. Plan $1,000. The rest of you, plan $50 or more. Here's a major announcement that I have too. We're going, um, praise God, um, when I go to Dallas on Tuesday, um, praise God, and I'm still going to meet with the students, okay? We're still going to meet with the students for dinner, Okay. Because uh, I have a very, very important meeting I have to go to on Friday, next Friday. So I'm still going to meet with the students. I'll get with um, uh, Dr. Wimberly on tomorrow to set up um, the spot for our dinner, okay? Then when I come back to Dallas on the third week in uh, October, then we're going to have our ordination services for all of the pastors, okay? Um, so... After I'm in Dallas next week, then I'm flying back to Los Angeles for two um, two weeks. And I have many radio and podcast shows I have to go into uh, online and by phone. And then I'll be flying back to New York City, uh, praise God, the second week in October, okay? And then the third week in October, I'll be going to Dallas, okay? So uh, all the information on, on Dr. Stephen Darby was in um was was it two weeks ago we talked about dr stephen darby okay so if you get a chance um we'll put up that link in the description tonight on youtube where you can listen to that information about dr stephen darby dr stephen darby was assassinated i know his wife doesn't want to hear that but he was okay because of what he knew okay we are ready in Dallas, uh, Pastor Johnson. I can't wait to meet you. All of the students in Dallas, please. Uh, Pastor Colleen, if you can put up our ministry number, 917-736-5946. 917-736-5946. You want Bishop to come to a city near you, text message our ministry here. We'll get with you. Right beside Pastor Sam's name, right beside Pastor Sadina Rice's name or right beside Pastor Colleen's name, please click on the PayPal link right now. Allow God to bless you. He'll give you double for your trouble, triple for your pain. Give, and that shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down, ladies and gentlemen, shaken together and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. The Lord said he'll give you double for your trouble, triple for your pay. God bless you, Pastor Harriet Chandler. Love you, man, in, in Christ's holy name. Thank you, Bishop, for letting God use you to teach these people. Thank you, Pastor Chandler. Love you, Mother, in Christ's holy name. Come to Cleveland. I got to get to Cleveland. We got a few students. Oh, God, what is that? And, and I might be mispronouncing. 
pronouncing the town's name, Shaker Heights. So we got about 10 students who's been meeting <coughs> in one of the homes of the other pastors in Shaker Heights. I'm coming to Cleveland. I want to come to Cleveland. So I will have an answer for you guys um, by tomorrow on social media. God bless you. Right beside Pastor Sam's name, right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Please, we need your help. We love, I love teaching. I absolutely love teaching. And to our brand new students who are here for the first time tonight, you are here for the first time. The first time, this is not for the rest of you students who've been with us for a long time. But the brand new students, you're here for the first time tonight. We need you to register as new student pastors of Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, New York, Los Angeles. Pastor Colleen, if you can put up our website, um, that's HTTPS and the dot dot double four slash um, Global Spiritual Movement. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Click on globalspiritualmovement.org. Globalspiritualmovement.org. Oh, you're the best. Thank you, Pastor Colleen. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Not, it's not for all of you who've been here for a long time, just for the students who are here for the first time tonight. Uh, once you register at globalspiritualmovement.org, it's a one-time $50 financial gift. Then, uh, God willing, in the next two weeks, the bishop will be going live on teaching on our website. And all of the teachings that's on our YouTube page will be transferred, thank God, to the website. Our webmaster, um, Brother Mike, has been in Europe the last couple of months. He's been busy. He's back to New York City. And also... Uh, in two weeks, we're going to have live classes, God willing, Lord willing, during our website. And for you, those of you, new students, you will also receive links to the bishop's upcoming books on Kobe Bryant, a Luciferian Project Completed, on our four-part series, Comprehending the State of the Human Condition. So when you sign up now, okay? Uh, we will get to you because we're still working on the website, okay? God bless you. I'm going to let you guys go. It's late. I know. Um, thank you. All of you guys, thank you for staying up with the man of God, okay? Well, I'm telling you, and certainly don't take a man of God. I'm telling you, Pastor Jacoby, you're right. Don't listen. Don't take a man of God for granted, Okay. This is because our lives are always on the line. Right beside Pastor Colleen's name, um, for you new students, globalspiritualmovement.org, globalspiritualmovement.org. The rest of you, uh, just plant $50 or more, $200, $500 to paypal.me for slash GSR Media Group. Thank you so much, great woman of God, uh, student Pastor Angela Williams. I'm 10. Tonight was powerful. That's it, Module 1, Volume 1 of Operation London Bridge. And I thank you. And I may do a class. I'm not going to promise, but I may do a class on Sunday. But I can't promise that, okay? Because the funeral of this clone, this Queen Elizabeth, is on Monday, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Antoinette Jones. Thank you, Student Pastor Antoinette. God bless you. Right beside um, Pastor Sam and Pastor Cedina's name. Click, please click on the PayPal link. Mind blowing. Thank you, Pastor uh, Simon Vishker. Give my love to your powerful wife, okay, Pastor Sylvia. I got to get to the Netherlands, okay? I got to make my trips going back to Europe. God bless you. No one's teaching this. You know what, Pastor Cedina? They're not. Not on this detailed level, high dimensional teaching. I'm watching the recording. Oh, that is awesome, Pastor Barbara. Pastor Barbara, uh, Pastor Taylor, how, how does the recording look? Is there any buffering or sound problems? I don't think there is. God bless you. God bless you, student Pastor Maat. P 
peace and blessings. I love that name, Ma'a. God bless you. Pastor Torga, none is teaching us. Thank you, Pastor Torga. And congratulations on your business and your new church that's under our apostolic covering out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Queen Thomas, God bless you, Bishop. Oh, my God. Uh, repeat that again, Queen Thomas, because um, the chat room is going so fast. I missed your comment, uh, student pastor Queen Thomas. None at all? Great. Thank you, Pastor Barbara. That is good. God bless you, student pastor Ma. God bless you, sir. In Yeshua's holy name. Bishop, did you speak about the children that disappeared? What was it? Uh, I can't remember. I mean, two weeks ago, I, I, you guys remember the teaching when the bishop spoke on those missing children out of D.C., those missing black and Latino and white children out of D.C. And uh, that, I believe that was the same teaching. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me blow up my nose. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I believe that was the same class, Pastor Sam, that we were teaching about um, organ harvesting. Organ harvesting. Um, oh, my God. And um, oh, what, what class was that? Oh, Dick Gregory, the assassination series. Uh, Dick Gregory and all of these young black men and women, organ harvesting and in the missing children and 1.5 million black and Latino and white men are missing from the prison system for the past 10 years, organ harvesting. And matter of fact, I think I might have our staff to put up that link tonight on Facebook, Twitter, and also well, we got great numbers tonight. Don't leave us, every, uh, everyone. Keep those keep those numbers high. Now, if you want to connect to the bishop, uh, uh, the bishop's Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Bishop L. Gators. Facebook.com forward slash Bishop L. Gators. Okay? G-A-I-T-E-R-S. Also, when you're on Facebook... You can join our group page. Just type in Global Spiritual Revolution Media on uh, Facebook, Global Spiritual Revolution Media. Also, um, please follow the bishop and our ministry. Thank you so much, Pastor Colleen. That's facebook.com forward slash Bishop L. Gators. Um, Colleen and I, Pastor Colleen and I are connected. Now, I think we may have 5,000. I, that's the thing I hate about uh, Facebook. They should not keep the friends list, okay, at 5,000. So I think we're at 5,000. Now, if we we get below 5,000, we do sometimes, just reach out to the bishop and we will connect you to you. Facebook.com forward for slash Bishop L. Gators. Our Twitter page, my Twitter handle is Twitter dot com forward slash Bishop L Gators. Pastor Colleen, if you can put up our Twitter link as well, twitter.com forward slash Bishop L Gators, twitter.com forward slash Bishop L Gators. Okay. That's G-A-I-T-E-R-S. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you, Pastor Darlene. Also follow us right beside Pastor Colleen's name, twitter.com forward slash Bishop L. Gators or my bit or my Twitter handle is at Bishop L. Gators at Bishop L. Gators. Now on Instagram, uh, my Instagram handle in the Instagram handle to our Instagram page is at Bishop John Wick at Bishop John Wick. That's follow me on Instagram. OK, uh, at Bishop John Wick, W-I-C-K. Also on TikTok, um, at Bishop uh, John Wick, at Bishop John Wick on TikTok. God bless you. OK, uh, are you guys buffering right now? Pastor Diana, you might have to log out and log back in. Um, if, you, if there's no buffering, put up a thumb sign. If there's no buffering. 
Thanks, Mr. Wick. Thank you, Pastor Stephen Rankin. Love you, sir, in Christ's holy name. No buffering. That's great news, Pastor Stacy. Thank you so much. We love you. No buffering. Thank you, Pastor Wayland Strong. Oh, God. God is so good. Our TikTok handle at Bishop, uh, at Bishop John Wick at Bishop John Wick. God bless you, okay? May heaven smile upon you. And I've been invited to come to London. Um, you know, I've been invited to come to London by um, the University of London in November um, to teach the Black Studies group uh, about uh, the history of Vatican paintings. I said, well, I can do that on Zoom. No, they want me to come over, Pastor Sam, to the University of London, to their Black Studies group, okay, to teach uh, a series of lectures on the history and the origins of the Roman Catholic Vatican order of paintings. So I told them I'll, I will pray about it, okay? So also, um, God willing, on next summer, um, in August, I've been putting this off for three years, I've been invited to come back again, but in August in, of next summer of 2023, to um, give a lecture at the Oxford Union at Oxford University. So your, your bishop is in high demand, okay, to take part of the historic um, Oxford round table. Okay. I might do that. Um, student pastor money model. I may do that because my, my staff is saying, why would they, and, and we thank God that, you know, we're in great demand, but why would they want to fly me thousands of miles over to teach about something that I can do it from zoom. So I, I'm constantly, I got to be careful. Okay. But next July, I'm sorry, next August, of 2023, the bishop, would be uh, taken, uh, would be a part of the Oxford Round Table. God bless you. Right beside Pastor Queen Sugar's name, right beside Pastor Colleen's name. Click on that PayPal link. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need a PayPal um, account. Just click on the PayPal link. And after you click on the PayPal link, then click send. Click send and put in your very, very best amount. Did you enjoy the teaching tonight? Was your minds blown? Put up those faces one more time if your minds were blown. Right beside Pastor Cream Sugar's name, our IG Instagram account is at Bishop John Wick at Bishop John Wick. God bless you in Yeshua's holy name. And also my agent is telling me to be careful uh, what speaking engagements I accept in person, okay? So uh, we love you. We honor you. Thank you, Pastor Sam. Woo, what a power pack night here in New York City. We will see you guys. Um, now, there's a 50, 50% chance I'll see you guys Sunday. I can't promise, okay? Um, it's 50, 50. If you don't see me, if, if you don't hear an announcement from our staff on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, which means the bishop would not, would not be teaching on Sunday. Great to see you, Pastor Mark Williams, my son. Okay. Have an awesome night, everyone, from New York City. That is it. After three hours, 33 minutes, and 33 seconds of Module 1, Volume 1, of Operation London Bridge. And I thank you. God bless you. In Yeshua's holy name. I'll see you soon. Pray for the bishop. It's time for me to get some rest. God bless you. I'm in love with every one of you. Don't think that's strange when I say I'm in love with you. It means I love you as Christ loves you. The London bride is falling down. And you know what? Pastor Wayne is going to be more London brides and bridesmaids. And I'm, I'm telling it is the beginning of the end. In the end of the beginning of the House of Winter. Uh, Pastor Richie Morgan, my dear friend from the beautiful and powerful 
a nation of Ireland. Oh my God, we got students in Dublin and also in Northern Ireland. We want Northern Ireland to be free. We want Scotland to be free and we want Wales to be free, okay? From this tyranny called Buckingham Palace, called the House of Windsor. The precious people of God in Northern Ireland the precious people of God in Scotland and the precious people of Christ in Wales, they have the right to self-determination. They're not slaves, okay, Charles, but they're men and women of God who want to remain free. Good night from New York City. I'll see you guys soon. Love you, Pastor Richie Morgan. Give my love to your family. Hope to get to Ireland soon. I can't wait to, to meet you and to taste that beautiful Irish food over there. God bless you. I want to visit some castles in Ireland, too. I'm telling you, uh, God bless you in Yeshua's holy name. And we're going to have uh, Pastor Chris to be uh, teaching two classes in November. Okay. Close a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Pastor Chris from Nigeria. Big time. Pastor, good friend of mine. So God bless you. We will see you guys in a few days. Love from San Diego. God bless you. Pastor Melanie, hope to get there soon. Uh, we love you. God bless you in Christ's holy name. Thank you, Pastor from London. Oh, my God. Uh, Discerner. Oh, my God. Student Pastor Discerner, I love you. I love my Londoners. People from Sheffield. Um People from Brixton, the Jamaican side of London, oh, they want me to come. And we got students in Brixton and Sheffield and Birmingham, okay? Uh, in, uh, was it, is it Leeds, uh, UK? Leeds? Leeds, I think, in the small town, Leeds. Cambridge, Cambridge is in the house. Oh, Stormy. Oh, my God. You know, a couple of years ago, I was asked by a group of students to come to the University of Cambridge. Uh, matter of fact, it was right before uh, the shutdown, and we couldn't do it. So hopefully when I come over to London very soon, I would love to do a lecture, um, for us to do a lecture at the University of Cam Cambridge is in the house. Oh, student pastor Stormy, you made my night. God bless you to all of our student pastors all over the world. Oh, I had a jumbo knowledge stick tonight. <laughs> God bless you, Pastor Alan Jones. Love you. I love every one of you with all of my heart. Not just this heart, this heart. I'm in love with you. Best teacher ever. Thank you, Pastor Jill. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a servant of Yeshua the Christ. And Yeshua the Christ is the greatest teacher ever. And I am just a vessel through whom the greatest teacher ever, Christ, speaks through. But Pastor Jill, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, student Pastor Jill Suzanne. God bless you. Beautiful name. I'll see you guys soon. Share the knowledge. Share these teachings. This is a global worldwide movement, which the body of Christ has never seen since Pentecost. Because no one on this planet is teaching this. And if they tell you they're teaching this, they're lying. Good night from New York City, right beside Queen Sugar's name, right beside Pastor Sam's name. One more time, click on the PayPal link right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Click on the PayPal link. You don't need a PayPal account. Click on the PayPal link. And after you click on the PayPal link, then click send and put in your very best amount. I love you. I'm in love with you as Christ loves you. Good night from New York City. That's module one, volume one of Operation London Bridge. And I thank you. This was, I believe, the most powerful teaching I have ever taught in the three years of having a global master class. We love Wilkin Cambridge. We love Cambridging. Oh, Cambridge, Scotland. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. 
You see, the, the church has been lied to for so long, Pastor Craig. The church has been lied to. Now you're being liberated. Your eyes, the eyes of your inner standing is being open. Understanding, understanding, you standing. God bless you. Good night from New York City. We'll see you very soon. God willing, I'll be flying to Dallas on Tuesday, okay? And then when I come back to Dallas, the um, third week in, um, in October, I'll be staying in Dallas like a week and a half doing many ordinations there and teaching, okay? But this trip, I'll be meeting with the students again with dinner. God bless you. God bless you in Yeshua's holy name. The questions you have, or we'll save it for another night. Good night from New York City. Keep the bishop in your prayers. God bless you in Christ's holy name.